unusual things that we found out about Paris and the most familiar things and then we're going to do a little preview about They're what is coming. Yeah. Yeah. That, I thought we talked about this. All right. Okay. So the first thing yeah. was uh, one of the surprising things and it wasn't a good surprise was the smoking. smoking. All yeah. right. Yeah. I've been away from it a long, long time. I personally have never been a smoker. Never been one to kind of be able to deal with smoke, and so uh, you know, here just about every place is non smoking, yeah. And so, when we got there, the restaurants in the inside were non smoking, mm -hmm. however, they had smoking outside, and usually the restaurants left the doors open, right? Open so, air cafe, type yes. Environment. And so, normally, that meant that the smoke would just walk right, right in. in, and so it just wasn't used to that, especially while eating. So, yeah. that was something. Uh, of a, a bit of a shocker for me. I wasn't quite used to that. And part. every single restaurant except the hotel yeah. and one other place, which was a tourist place. Yeah. And they actually had openable windows, but they didn't have them open. Yeah. So those were the two places. Right. But other than that, everywhere else had yeah. an open air cafe. Yeah. Um, so smoking yeah, was, was outside. Everywhere. Yeah, it was. It's a big part of the culture. Yes. It's a big part of yes. the culture. Especially with the cafes yeah. where, you know, people would kind of sit outside mm -hmm. with a drink or whatever else and smoke. And so it was, it was a, a I think, an integral part of their culture mm -hmm. as far as the way that they kind of bond and things yeah. like that, you know. And, and they stayed for hours. So, yeah, yeah, The place yeah. that we went to and the people were there when we got there and they were there several hours later when we happened to have come back which we'll talk about in a minute yeah but but that was that was very interesting so and, and in one way you know kind of tough for me with respect to uh, enjoying the food yeah, yeah. and, 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 and kind of enjoying that particular atmosphere but interesting in the fact that they take that time mm -hmm. with one another that they yeah. value right spending yeah. time at a meal yeah yeah, yeah. And, and, and just that that conversation mm -hmm. and you know that bond in with one another so I mean yeah. so in that sense you know good thing for for France okay uh, <laughs> Parisians I uh, the uh, second thing uh, that was most surprising is that it was so freaking big yeah. Now we've been to Chicago, we've been to New York where, you know, it takes hours to walk outside of the boundaries, yeah. but we have managed to get outside of the boundaries. Like in Chicago, we finally walked out yeah. of downtown and that, into a different neighborhood, which yeah. was like, that was our first time actually doing that, but yeah. yeah. Whereas in Paris, we walked, we walked, we walked, we walked, we walked, we walked, we walked. Yeah. And we never seemed to run out of Maine inside Paris. We never got to a neighborhood that was outside of Paris. Yeah, and the other part for me, when you think about so big, is that I didn't realize it had, it, it's almost like Paris is built on a hill. Oh. You know, or, or I should say a series of hills, because yeah. it was like, whether I was going running, whether we were walking, yeah. it's like, I, either I was running uphill, or I was running downhill. Yeah. It's like, I very rarely just was running on just a flat, flat surface, mm -hmm. you know. I didn't get a chance to run uh, by the sand mm -hmm. or anything like that, however, uh, we were, it was probably but about a mile away from the center, yeah, maybe, yeah. you know, so, you know, possibly I could have done that if I really knew my way around. So, oh, which that, uh, you know, I just, 
decided yeah. to go out and run and I found this one park and it was just a park of hills going back and forth. <laughs> now I'm running a half marathon in about a month or so totally. and I had all my hill work done in Paris. <laughs> I, I just tell you that. It was just unbelievable. Like I said, it was either uphill, downhill. But other thing, dog culture. Oh, yeah. Completely different yeah. than it is here because like here, in my own neighborhood, I'm being chased down by dogs. I had to get to a point where I have to Carry start mace. carrying mace yep. with me, yep. you know, as a way to defend for myself when mm -hmm. it comes to dogs. Whereas there in Paris, you know, I didn't even get barked at by dogs. Yeah, uh, that you was, know, it's the same thing in Toronto. Uh, yeah, like it continues friendly that. Friendly dogs, culture. very yeah. nice and that kind of thing. So, you know, I, I guess, uh, you know, another thing that us Amer Americans Americans can learn from those fairness that uh, you know, <laughs> learn how to handle your damn dog. Yeah, learn how to train away and not to kill yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, the other weird thing was as we were coming from the airport in the cab, there were motorcycles, people in suits and dresses, riding between the cars on the expressway as if it was no problem. Yeah and the traffic is already crazy and yeah. then see when they do it here in america is somebody breaking a rule and we all you know shake our fist at them and that's uh, the way it is there that is the culture it, it's organized chaos it that, is that's, that's I, all i can I'm say surprised we about. only saw one little fender bender like yeah. the a aftermath of a fender bender but but we didn't see not one accident and we weren't involved in any accidents. We but i'm surprised but we did have one cab driver oh lord who was just Awesome. Oh, he, he was the guy. best cat. He was the Uber. He was actually a cat. I think yeah. the Uber passed us up because we were in the neighborhood. They didn't want to stop me. That's my theory. Okay. Well, whatever we it was, when well, he didn't get a cab driver, this guy was just awesome. And he's yelling at people on the road. Oh, Matter yeah. of fact, I was sitting in the front seat and, you know, and it was this guy on a bike who did something wrong. I don't know what he did wrong, but that cab driver rolled down my side of the window to yell at this guy. Twice. Yeah, he did. yeah. then when Twice. the guy got on his side, he yelled at him again. Yeah, yeah. Then, you know, there's this poor woman and she was like, saying, I don't know what I did. You know? Yeah, yeah. It was just unbelievable. He I loved it. Loved I was like, I'm a gri yeah. white knuckle gripping everything. Uh, he took a back road to get us back to the hotel. It ended up being cheaper, cheaper in the cab Uber. than it was in the Uber. Which so right. that guy, if I knew his name, I would just give him a shout out. Oh, yeah. He was the man. Yeah. You know, I had to tip him well. And he talked he to us guy. about French culture. We yeah. found out a lot of stuff that no, we that was would. a guy to the airport. Oh, wrong guy. Yeah, Oops. a different guy. Oops, that guy was airport. too busy fussing. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> the other guy, he was too busy getting fussing. The, the guy to the airport was really yeah, good. Yeah, he was really good, yeah. yeah. Um, the next thing is we bought an enhanced plan from Verizon, I hate to say it. Yeah. And the GPS sucked from yeah, the moment yeah, we it got was horrible. there. It was awful. That we call from the airport to say, okay, look, things are not working right. They call themselves getting it all set up yeah. again. Because yeah. I had set it up previous to it. Right. And then at the first day, um, Bruce got on the phone and talked to them directly, had them change it up, do whatever, get it to the best. It was and awful. it was terrible, though. Yeah. Whole time. It was, it was so horrible. that kind of messed up the run to the sim because you wanted to make sure you get get there, get back. Yeah. It messed up a lot of our sightseeing. We had to do like all three of our phones we had to use to triangulate. Like, do you have service now? Yeah. Is your service working? So between the three of us and the trans, the um, metro uh, yeah. stops is the way we got around. But, but the metros were all wonderful. Yeah. That that was yeah. that was really great. I mean, we really. I uh, use public transportation a lot to get around there and it was really easy mm -hmm. to get around so that was yet another yeah um Plus. You know, plus of being yeah. there. I mean, and that that was awesome. Yeah. That, that was really cool. Which was one of my familiar ones, but we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, the other thing that was surprising but disappointing was there was no haggling in the resale shops. We found some things, and there was this one pair of shorts, boxer shorts I was going to get, and I'm like, I'm not going to pay over, because I think it was 10 euros, which is, you know, a bunch for a pair of shorts. And I had, I would call myself um, suggesting seven, and it was like 10. And the, you know, oh no, we're not gonna do that. And then we went to another store, and there were some shoes I ended up buying, but um, I tried to haggle down, and they are like, no, the price is the price, so. Yeah, and well, I, I wasn't really there for that. So. I was outside, so. Well, yeah, he, yeah. He's, he was a good shopping husband. <laughs> um, so, that was surprising. The other thing that was surprising, because I was complaining a little bit about the French and how not so friendly they were, 
But when we really needed it, um, me yeah. and myself uh, left the passports and whatever, yeah. and the yeah. passes in one of the cafes. Yeah. The and first day. The, right. And didn't realize it until I was getting, until we were getting ready to go to bed. So we had to go back hours later. Yeah. And when we needed it, I mean, they were the. Yeah, the guy was the guy was awesome. He, he, yeah. He, you know, he put it away for us. Yeah. And you know, I offered him money. He he wouldn't. He wouldn't take it. the money. He right. He wouldn't take it. He's like, no, no, no. Here you go. He's like, I, I, you know, knew you guys would be coming back for it. So I mean, that was wow. awesome. Yeah, that yeah, was so that was scary. Really but that was when we needed it. We had yeah. the friendliness, and that was that was awesome. So thank you for that. Yeah. Because the whole rest of the trip would have probably sucked if yeah, I had lost we had to the track down the uh, uh, passes. Which which were all the activities that we had yeah, planned, and, the and then the passports, right? Like, like that was like a major. Yeah, and it's sort of like you know you can get them back again. I mean, I'm pretty sure you know people lose or lose yeah. passports or stolen whatever all the time. But you know you just don't want to start the trip yeah, that way. Waste the time trying to you know, track that down. So. While you're in trying to think about trying to get back when you're trying to enjoy where you're at. So, yeah, so. um, the food. <laughs> again, all the talk about French food. Yeah. And. And again, so in defense of the French uh, food, we'll say part of it may have been the smoking thing that kind of hampered and, and uh, thing us is, trying the, things. Two different things is that, you know, we were doing a lot of running during the day. So, you know, probably about seven or eight o'clock, we were really burnt out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just ready to kind of shut down. So, so in, in, in that sense, we probably did not get a chance to try like the best mm -hmm. of the Parisian restaurants yeah. because the restaurants really opened at seven. Yeah, seven thirty. You yeah. know, so and then you know there was the issue of the smoking and that kind of thing. So some places I, I just didn't want to try just simply because yeah. of that part of it. So I, I so I, I think we just took the ones that were most convenient. Yeah. And so and and I don't think I even got as experimental as I would have liked them. Yeah. God, I mean, we tried to ask. We did try to ask yeah. our go. I was yeah. not that impressed, but I could check yeah. it off the list. I, yeah, it went. It wasn't like it was horrible or anything yeah, like that. So, but I mean, it, there's probably a whole lot more that you know we could have tried. Yeah. Um, as opposed to if we had known, I guess it, yeah. no. If we had known in advance what the culture was like, yeah. maybe we could have prepared a little bit better. But I don't know because again, yeah, but there's just so much stuff to see there. So many. Yeah. So many. Um, Museum, so many just sites. Yeah, they yeah. kind of take in. It's it's. We only had a week. Yeah, it's really hard to just to do it justice to say okay, well we just did everything. Yeah, we, no, we really did. We did. We could. You know. Yeah. So no. so I mean, you know, I, I will kind of hold off on the French food just based on that alone. I mean, there was this little shop down the street from us where this woman was making like fresh croissants yeah and they were to die for oh they were but they she'd only seem like awesome. made like 10 or 12 yeah, a day yeah, that's all she did because we thought it was closed yeah. for the first couple days i sure did and then it was this one day i saw they were open and i, and I was actually finishing up my run mm -hmm. and i was like you know what as soon as i go in take my shower and come back i'm going out and i'm gonna get one of these things mm -hmm. and i got one and I, I had to come back yeah and i was like you know i'll try one and man, it yeah. was it was to die for. And then we also tried this place that was by it was by that modern art museum that had the crepes. Oh yeah, it was outside. The, the yeah. lemon crepes. Oh yeah, they were good. Awesome. Because I don't really care much for crepes normally, but yeah. they were really good. They, so we they, went back. Yeah, the we next went day. back the next day yeah. to get those. So so again, you know, some of these places, I just think it was the same thing with the food. Is that you know if we could have. Been on the lookout for more of that type of thing, yeah. you know, would it would, you know, I, yeah. I think it would have changed. But I don't think you could do no. Paris justice in a week, so. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Either. I mean, to be honest, so. Okay, so what was most familiar is shopping, shopping, shopping. Wherever we have gone ever yeah. so far, yeah. there's high class shopping, there's mid range shopping, and then there's street corner shopping. Yeah, and, and the part that's unusual about Paris, at least I found, is that. Um, it was all together. Mm -hmm. So, you know, meaning that you could be at a resale shop and mm -hmm. you could walk around the corner and then you could see, you know, a uh, Louis Vuitton yeah, shop or something like yeah. that right around the corner yeah. from that. And so that was a part that was kind of amazing to me is that sometimes I, I didn't know if I was in a bad area or whatever else, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, and so, so in that sense, just the way everything mm -hmm. was just located all together. Yeah. For me, was something a bit different. Yeah, I wasn't used to that. So, yeah. um, people are people. So, 
we didn't know the language and of course I didn't prepare uh, probably as well as we should have but um, you know you can tell a smile you can tell a frown you can tell when people are irritated right and that's something that's universal so no matter where we've gone a smi you know so when you approach people smiling so I know people were saying all oh, the French were gonna be uh, nasty and it was hard sometimes to remember to do the bonjour first yeah because sometimes we were irritated but I had to take that into consideration like okay you're approaching people and you don't know their language you yeah. need their help and I can see that most of the time when I tried to even force a smile and do a bonjour yeah um, it seemed to work yeah it, it yeah. did I mean it, they, they work I, I, I agree you know people are people yeah. and so um, you know and that was the same thing as far as you know thinking about Avoiding the pickpockets. Oh and yeah. I mean, you know, hey, look, you you know, people who don't quite look right. Right. In America, yeah. And that translates to when you get yeah, on the Yeah. So too. I was surprised. You that know, was one of the characters. Things, you know what I mean? So that I mean, was one of the things way down on the list, right. but that you know, the videos and things that we had watched prepared us for all oh, this aggressive pickpocketing. Yeah. And on the train, I think I I felt this one guy trying to pat, but because I had everything so close. Yeah. Um, but they were not that aggressive. This was not high yeah. crime. We were but, but I just think it's sort of like for me, it's like I, I had my guard up anyway. Yeah. So, I mean, you know. But it wasn't I, that bad. Whether I was in Chicago or whatever else. I yeah. mean, I, I didn't see it any different than yeah. any place I would be here. Yeah. You know, whether it was Philadelphia, Chicago, yeah. New York, whatever. Yeah. If I'm on a train and I'm with a bunch of people, I'm going to watch myself. Yeah. That's just, yeah. you know, that's just, just urban. Or a lot of people. Right. Yeah, that's, that's, just, yeah. that's urban training. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, that's the way I look <laughs> at it, you know? Urban is urban wherever it is. Yeah. So, so that know. wasn't bad at all. So yeah. we were pleasantly surprised with that. Right. Um, language was not too much of a barrier. No, that was wasn't. another thing that was familiar is that right. um, because I guess French and, and English are so yeah. Latin languages that even if you don't know it, you can kind of look in. It, it, entree means, you know, enter. Or, yeah, right, yeah. You know, and the ones that you don't know, we figured out pretty quickly. Exit, sortie. It, it, yeah. After a while, we were like, ah, it's no big deal. Yeah, it wasn't bad as far as reading stuff. Yeah. You know, we could definitely do that. And usually, you know, thankfully for the French, is that, you know, once they kind of, you know, deduced that we were um, Americans, mm -hmm. they pretty much would switch over to workable English. Yeah. And so their English was a lot better than our French. Yeah. And so um, <laughs> they were always quick to accommodate yeah. us by doing that. Yeah. I mean, so Even I Even if they seem so irritated awesome. a little bit, yeah. sometimes, you know, the, especially the guy at Starbucks, yeah. uh, the Starbucks was in the hotel. And he would see us coming like, oh my goodness, here they go again. Yeah, and I don't know if it was him not wanting to deal with us or if it's just, you know, the whole trying to understand what we're asking and doing. And then, of course, he didn't have change. So that was Yeah, that was always an, an issue with respect to using cash yeah. and sometimes having... And when I say a big bill, it's $20. Yeah. And usually here in America, $20 is not that much. But sometimes I would feel like, oh, you know, they weren't ready to accommodate mm -hmm. the $20. And that it created a certain amount of stress. It yeah. was so stressful with this guy, he gave us free drinks. Yeah. You know, and I, and I, right. that really made me feel uncomfortable. Right, like, so we didn't go the next day. Right. I, was I, was like, like, I, I said, make sure we have a and, and I told him, I said, you know, man, I, you know, I, I used a card, you know, or, you know, he could have charged it to, to the, the room. room. Yeah. And I was like, no, no, just take it from So maybe, you know, just maybe he was being very nice mm -hmm. and that type of thing. And, you know, I could be completely misread the situation, you know, and, and maybe that's 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 more or less it. But it it I made me feel bad. Yeah. Yeah, you because know, I felt like you know he was accommodating a dumb American. And again, yeah. that could have been my own me being self conscious uh -huh. and all the rest of that kind of stuff because I did feel like a dumb American. Yeah. So you know, so again, you know, I, I could completely have misread that situation. Well, so he could have just been trying to bless me. And so right, so we did not have a uh, Starbucks the next day because no, uh, I didn't. just felt badly about that. Mm -hmm. So um, the subway we already said was like Chicago, so it was very easy to follow. Yeah. Um, and people are trying to get what they can. You mentioned that with the pickpocket, and you kind of see people yeah. when they're coming. Even when stressed, if you are in need of details, your mind will help you again. It was after this whole situation with leaving the passports was after we had come back to the hotel. I had taken a shower, I had changed into my pajamas, and I was looking to see what we were going to do the next day. And it took a minute, you know, I'm looking around, 
and I, like, between me and Bruce, we remember, because we had walked the ways to get to this place. Right. We remember where the place was and, and got there and got, and I had been tired up before then, but when it came time to go get that the passports, I threw my clothes back on, no makeup, we went straight back out and got it. Yeah, and that was, did. that was scary, but it reminds me that, yeah. you know, when you need... You, the stuff up in your head, you can, you can pull it. You can, yeah. you can uh, recall it. Yeah, that's true. So that was something else. Um, and again, we should have known their food that from Toronto, the French, um, the way that the things that they find tasty are a little different than the Americans. Um, but we ended up eating their uh, go-to instead of hamburger seemed to be steak and fries. Yeah. So almost every place we ate, we end up having steak and fries because it's the one thing we kind of know. Yeah. And it seemed like that's their burger and fries. Right. Yeah. You know, and, I, and again, I think I could have been a little bit more adventurous with the eating part of it. Yeah, you know. But again, I, I, I think it was just the culture shock of the smoking. Yeah. That, that, that part. I, you know, and so. It's like we smoked the whole week we were there. That's, yeah. that's the way it felt. It yeah. Really it, it was just. It, it was just really, really. I, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I hadn't realized how long I'd yeah. been away from it. And yeah. we smelled it from the minute we got from the airport yeah. all the way to the minute we got back to the right. airport. Right, yeah. And so. even in the airport, they have a box. They put the smoke yeah, in. Yeah, they do. They and do. when they open that door in the you box, still you still smell it. Yeah. So it just was just odd. Yeah, it's different. Okay, so we found more inspiration for creating new music, and we're working on that. If you've been checking out our Instagram and, and some of our other accounts, you will see some of the things that uh, we've been working on um, that probably have been inspired from our trip. Um, our biggest regret was that we were not forward-thinking enough to plan, uh, to even try to schedule any type of meetup. And yeah. then, of course, the minute we got back, I started um, you know, hearing from people, oh, I was just in France. You know, last week, same week you were there, or how come you didn't let me know? Or so next time, yeah. we are planning uh, two trips coming up. One definitely to South by Southwest, and uh, 2019, and then we're going to London. So what we're saying um, now is that if you are interested in either being at either of the meetups, which we don't have any details yet, um, um, you know, drop us uh, in the description below. I'll, I'll have some type of link that you can click and leave your information. And then also, we're always looking now, we've kind of gotten the travel bug, mm -hmm. and we're looking for new places to explore, new things to go, yeah. new conferences, new, I don't know, festivals, whatever it is. If you know that in your area, in your town, there's something really cool that's musical, creative to come see, let us know because yeah. maybe we'll schedule a trip where you are. Yeah. Who that's knows? True. Yeah, that's true. Definitely. Yeah, so we're kind of looking forward to doing a little bit more of that connecting up. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's it. Of course, wherever we connect and whatever meetups we have, you'll uh, subscribe to the channel so yeah. that you won't miss any of that. Um, where have you recently been that has sparked your creativity? Share yeah, in the yeah. comments yeah. below. And we can't say it enough. If you dig the grind up, now I messed it up. If you like the vibe and want to be part of our tribe, be sure to, to subscribe. You got to subscribe. You got to subscribe. We I have the that. podcast on. Um, we have on iTunes and and SoundCloud and Stitcher. We have, of course, the YouTube videos. We have the blog. We have Facebook. We have Instagram. We have Twitter. We have Pinterest. Wherever you hang out, we want to hang out with you. Yeah. Okay. And for you, uh, base efficient. Oh yeah, base people. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm going to be doing a oh, video yeah. probably on this baby here. This is my 1978 Fender Jazz bass, and uh, actually, we ran into this guy in Paris. Yeah. Who has like this vintage shop called Guitar Collection. Yeah. And we want to do a little bit more. Yeah. Him. Well, you know, when we kind of touch on this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but but anyway, this this space is very unique in the fact that it appears to be like a custom shop, Fender Jazz bass done circa 1978. Um, and and anyway, um, just kind of sharing that part of it because we went to the music stores there. Oh and yeah, that'll be like part of a, another video. That yeah. We'll do. So anyway, um, look forward to that coming up. Mm -hmm. All right. Love, peace, and chicken, chicken grease. Yay. Woo.